Hello, this is Jacob Hicks, live on the channel JWX100, and I'm on day three of recovery from bariatric surgery, from weight loss surgery. But you know, I, on Thursday this past week, I um, woke up about four or five in the morning, got dressed, took a little bit of medicine, was on a... Um, Two and a half week uh, liquid diet before surgery. My mother helped me out with that. Make sure I was on the liquid diet and stuff. And, um, and, um, got through nutrition class and everything. And, and then that morning I woke up. We left the house about 6 a.m., got to party hospital at 6 30 in the morning, checked in for surgery. They got me dressed and ready in my in my um, gown, the hospital gown, and then they took me into this room to get 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 a shot put in my spine, so I don't go through as much pain. And then they put me on my bed and sent me straight in the operating room, and then they did surgery on me. I was knocked out for over an hour and a half, and then I woke up in the PACU unit. A party hospital, and then um, took them two or three hours to find me a hospital bed, hospital bedroom to sleep in, stay overnight for my night in the hospital, and my mom met up with me up in the hospital room, brought my clothes up to me, and stayed there overnight, and did really well, ate okay, uh, didn't have too many problems eating and drinking fluids, like I thought I was going to have, but... It didn't have too many complications from surgery. Had a little trouble walking because I was in a lot of pain, but I got through it pretty quickly and made home by the next day in the afternoon and and rested for a while. And yesterday, some friends of mine came over to see me and we had soup for lunch yesterday, and which is really good. And, um, that, that was pretty fun. We went for a walk around the neighborhood. Did really well walking. I'm starting to do better today. I'm starting to eat a little bit more food. But I went from 2.53 before surgery, right immediately before I went in the operating room. And now I'm at 2.48. So I've lost, let's see, 53, 52, 150. Lost about five pounds in the past few days, so that's good weight loss goal so far, and I'm doing really well. I just want to let you guys know that um, I did survive surgery. I got an appointment on the 13th at Party Bariatrics to meet up with my surgeon, and May he's going to check up on me, make sure I'm doing well with surgery and with the recovery from surgery, and making sure I'm eating what I'm supposed to be eating, which I have been still on liquid diet till the 20th of this month. And then on the 20th, I'm supposed to be going to see the nutritionist and um, work on uh, getting on the soft food diet and eating a little bit more food. So that's good news. And I'm going to tell you um, about bariatric surgery and Bariatric weight loss surgery is not for everybody. You have to, before you can even qualify for this weight loss surgery, you have to pass mental health. You have to be able to eat properly. You have to show proof that you're losing weight on your own. I mean, I had to lose 89 pounds on my own before I could even qualify for bariatric surgery. So, I mean, it's no joke. It's very serious. And you have to be very serious about it. It's a lifelong commitment. And you got to keep your keep watching your weight on your own after surgery, too. I mean, it's very serious stuff. So, I recommend if you decide to do bariatric surgery, for those of you guys out there that are, that are planning on doing it, Take it very seriously. Follow the diet. Do what your doctor tells you. Eat healthy. Stay away from fast food. Stay away from sodas. Don't drink alcohol. Don't drink a lot of heavy sugars. Eat a lot of heavy sugars and stuff. 
Work on getting your work on trying to lose your weight on your own first. And then go through health and fitness classes and stuff and exercise. And then get on bar then do the bariatric surgery afterwards. That's what I would do if I was doing this all over again. But it is well worth doing. But it takes a lot of commitment and a lot of self initiation and self self um take self control of your diet in order to do this kind of uh weight loss program and it is worth it at the end trust me now that i've lost enough weight i'm not a diabetic anymore i'm gonna go get myself tested for sleep apnea again see if i can come off my cpap machine and i'm coming off a lot more mess than i used to take i'm doing a lot i'm a lot more healthier and it's worth it but you have to learn to learn to diet and exercise on your own first. Learn to control your portions before you can do the bariatric before the surgeon will, will operate on you. I'm telling you, this surgery is no joke. It's very serious stuff. But it's well worth it too at the end. When you lose your weight and you're at the proper weight lot weight that you're supposed to be at. Well, anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. And have a good Sunday off from, from working and stuff. And have a good day at church and all those of you that are going to church today. I'm taking a little break from church for a few for a couple months. And to recover from surgery and stuff. But I'm coming back to play in the orchestra again soon. So anyway, bye you guys.